Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I am a credit expert who contributes to CreditCardInsider.com. If you have any questions for us, please submit them in the comment section below. Uh, the folks at Credit Card Insider asked me, instead of, to, instead of answering a, one of our viewer questions, mm. to tell a story about um, kind of a crazy credit card story or a horror story about credit cards. And I actually recorded one, and that's you should also watch that one because it's really good. But I also have one that I want to record here for you. This one is an attempt by a, a consumer, a second consumer, to essentially um, rewrite the rules of engagement with, with her credit card issuer. And unfortunately, the results were uh, disastrous. The consumer, or the cardholder in question, went to a wedding. The wedding was held and then the reception after the wedding was being held at a hotel, a local hotel chain. And the people were driving from the wedding location to the hotel for the reception. And the folks who attended the wedding were told that if they told the parking attendants at the valet at the hotel that um, they were part of the so-and-so wedding, that the parking would be free, that the valet parking would be free instead of $30. So it was a very high-end hotel, and as you can imagine, the valet parking service was extremely expensive. So this particular cardholder drove to the hotel and used the valet parking to park her car but forgot to tell the valet people that she was there attending the reception for this particular wedding. So when she left the reception, she got to her car and they told her that the cost was $30. She tried to explain, oh, no, no, I'm part of this wedding. And essentially they weren't having any of it. And um, she got pretty angry, but used her credit card to charge the 30 bucks to pay for the parking. Anyway, she drives, goes home, a couple days later, calls the credit card issuer and challenges the charge. It essentially says that this is not a valid charge. Um, the parking was supposed to be free, not 30 bucks. I don't want to pay this portion of my bill. So the credit card issuer, like they normally do when there's a disputed charge, contacted the hotel to verify whether or not this was actually true. The hotel apparently came back and said, the, the $30 charge is completely valid. And so the card issuer refused to give the card holder a permanent credit for the 30 bucks and essentially take it off of her bill. Well, she got angry. She wasn't having any of that. And instead of, you know, swallowing her pride and paying this useless amount of money, 30 bucks, it's not even a bad bar tab, she decided that she was going to be pigheaded and not pay the bill. So she not only did she not pay the bill, she didn't pay any of the bill, not even the part of the bill that had completely legitimate um, and um, indisputed or undisputed charges. She didn't pay any of it. Well, the credit card issuer who essentially got dragged into her problems with the hotel, that's not their problem. And because they didn't get paid, they started to show her as being delinquent on her credit reports. They ended up closing her account because she was past due. And they ended up charging off the credit card, which a charge off is essentially means that it went into default for non-payment. And we're talking several hundred dollars, not just a, the $30 portion of the parking, the, the parking charge. So this, this woman, because she didn't want to pay the 30 bucks and she admittedly forgot to tell the parking attendant about that she was part of the party, the wedding party. So because she was gonna be so stubborn and not pay that, that little miniature 30 bucks, she went into default on her credit card for several hundred dollars and now she's got this on her credit report for the next seven years. So the moral of the story um, for, for this young lady should have been that she should have just simply swallowed her pride, paid the 30 bucks and, and moved on with her life since really she caused the problem anyways because she forgot to tell the parking folks up front that she was part of the wedding party. Now, if you have any other questions pertaining to credit or other financial topics, then please submit them to creditcardinsider.com or in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.